Hello, I'm Martin Goodman, and my novel Forever Conrad of the Vampire's Vampire is coming out in paperback. Why should you, the reader, presumably, of horror and vampire novels, care about that? What makes it different? Well, one thing is that my young journalist, Conrad, is something of a method journalist. He's not satisfied with just having an interview with a vampire. He feels he has to become one, first of all, so he lets himself be taken. He's taken by an ancient who is the original form of vampire. So most vampires, I was going to say most of us vampires, but most vampires are hybrids. They've got a lot of human in them. And ancients have none of that. And that's what becomes Conrad's quest. He's a vampire working out how to tell the true stories of vampires for other vampires. That's what this book is really trying to share. And to do that, he has to go in search of a vampire baby, because that is the, the rumor that's attracted him out of a long era of lying asleep. He's attracted to find out how do ancients beget children? What is a sex act for an ancient? How is a child brought up? And we discover in this book the story of this teenager, teenage vampire just coming into his own sense of vampirehood. To me, the book that really sort of rang closest to me was Octavia E. Butler's Kindred for that sense of broad community and vying communities as well. Obviously, that's coming out of her sort of a black marginalized woman gay side. I've got that gay side, not the black marginalized woman. But we've all got these different aspects to us, I think. So no, I'm marginal, I'm an outsider, I'm something of a mystic, um, I'm sort of England in what seems to me alien soil, I don't necessarily feel I belong here. That's why this book goes out into Europe, it's, it's, it's a pre-Brexit, post-Brexit novel in that way. And for me, it also draws on a shamanic side, I've written lots of other books that do shamanic journeying, and in that way, it take, it's taking you into those sort of dark realms that, that are the mirror side of, of how we decent humans try and live. And it shows a light onto that. For me, it's kind of a, an exciting, grisly, but also true story. And I hope you read it, and I hope you really enjoy it. And if you do, please let me know. Bye.